So you guys want to know the secret behind Dimebag's signature harmonic squeal? You know that thing that goes I just recently made a cover of Cemetery Gates and I've been receiving a bunch of questions from people asking how to nail those end squeals there at the end where uh, Dimebag is basically mimicking Phil and Selmo's high screams and I already made a video regarding how to make these harmonic squeals you know. They're fairly simple to do if you know the technique uh, you can go check out my other video on how to do that properly fairly simple if you're around you know the fourth fret or like the third fret but as soon as you go up to like the second fret which is what is being done in cemetery gates this guitar is in standard C by the way so I'm not going to be able to go up as high but I will be able to go up to uh, that note but for C standard for instance as soon as you start going up here it's starting to get really hard to nail those <laughs> It's really hard to make him clean. There we go. But it's just really tough to nail him. But I saw a video on YouTube, a guy that was breaking the dime bag squeal secret. His channel name is Music Sucks. I will put a link to that video here. But basically, he deciphered Dimebag's trick, his secret trick. Uh, not sure if it's secret or not, but I thought since you guys were asking how to nail those high notes a little bit easier, I'm gonna show you what this guy was telling us through his YouTube video. Uh, so, what the guy discovered is that Dimebag was actually using his wah pedal when making these harmonic squeals. So, so I have a John Petrucci wah right here in front of me. And uh, so far, I haven't had it on throughout the video. So, a regular harmonic squeal would be like. But with a wah. A lot easier to hold the tone and the note. And since the wah is basically cocking, <laughs> you know, the frequencies, it's gonna be a lot easier to hit those really high notes. So even the ones here at the second fret. So without a wah. It's a little tough, with a wah. And I tried it out, definitely works. You can do it without a wah, but it's just gonna be a little bit easier with a cock <laughs> wah happening. You're kind of concentrating all those high frequencies with the wah pedal right there. So there you go, that's the little secret right there. I'll put a link to Music Sucks. He has not that many views on this video, so I figured I will just do a shout out and uh, more people will know about him and that thing. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.